Hello everyone, here we are at part 4 of the question and answers series. There's been a lot of questions coming in since pretty much November of last year, and here we're going to talk about them. So thank you to all who's a who've asked the questions, and hopefully you see yours here. We'll dive right into it. The first question, or first part question, is by two users that asked pretty much the same thing. And it's, if Stormworks would die in the future, or you want to change your content, what would you change it to? And Reaper asked, will you play other games than BeamNG and Stormworks? They were asked several months apart, or five months apart, but the point is, yeah, I would. I'm proud of this channel, I'm proud of my fans, I have built up a fan base, and I do love gaming. So I would definitely want to introduce new content slowly. However, there is a problem. I'm aware there are engineering games out there like Stormworks, but without learning the intricacies of the game, without really mastering it, the content can only be kind of playing around, you know, crashing, doing things, you know, no, the non-technical side of things. And I think I've really found a niche where I have the fans who enjoy the technical aspect of what I do. And I can really give that in Stormworks because of the countless, countless hours I've spent playing the game. So other engineering games, I would. But the problem is you have to learn them to make good content. Games like BeamNG that are highly technical, but not necessarily a learning curve needed, other than a steering wheel and knowing how to drive. Um, I love games like that, and I could and I will definitely do more content in that nature. Um, other car games, other racing games, other games in general, we'll see where the channel goes. Um, but the engineering games, I really, I spend way too many hours per month playing Stormworks that I would have to fully migrate to another game and stop playing Stormworks in order to introduce another game. The second question, yes, it was asked last year, did you ever play with Lego as a kid? What was your favorite theme? Funny enough, in October of last year, friend and I started Brickstar's official YouTube, where we have now a thousand subscribers, 60 videos, a lot of good content. You can see here the affiliate channel is mine, and we have an Instagram page, and this Instagram page is very popular. We almost have 7,000 followers, 600 posts, and we love taking pictures here with our collection and with just Lego in general um, built up, kind of sometimes posed, sometimes using um, more. So this is posed in a sense that it's realistic or sometimes just in situ sitting on a counter. So yeah, love Lego, love the stuff. And that's probably what I spend most of my time on other than Stormworks and of course being with my fiance in real life asked what is my favorite theme in lego yes i did play with lego as a kid my favorite theme was the underwater exploration i loved the underwater exploration i have a lot of the sets from the mid 2000s and 2010 era of the ships i have a lot of the new ones as well i just love the submersibles love the ships with the style and i'm sure a lot of you've noticed that i definitely take elements of them and put it into oma Moving on to question three by GAC. How long have you been an engineer for? Great question. I've been an engineer. I graduated university in 2014. I did work a year before that, 2013, as a um, intern at an engineering company and have just continued working ever since. So it's been 10 years, which is crazy. It's flown by, but I love the work. I love the challenge and I love being an engineer. Question four, Yori. What's the best mission in Stormworks, in your opinion? The best mission? I don't know. I think that there is a good amount of missions to test your creations out. I would personally like to see more missions introduced for the research aspect of the game. So what I tend to do is just make it like, um, I play free roam and I just set myself challenges, you know, move this crate, do this. And I almost role play solving kind of challenges and researching things. That said, you asked what the best mission is. I love just the brutal search and rescue missions where there's either a ship under distress, it's rainy, it's nighttime, you gotta use your lights, you gotta problem solve, and I love those types of missions, just the problem solving aspect. Question 5. 45 Code. How did you find the game Stormworks? This was actually asked, I believe, a while ago. I don't know if I answered it in another video. The point is... I only stumbled across it in Steam because it was on sale. 
I'd never heard about it before. I've never seen it. I've never even played engineering games before. I was intrigued because I enjoy vehicles, I enjoy ships, and the fact you could build your own ship just blew my mind. I bought it right away, didn't know how to build anything for a while. Instead I watched videos, even trying to find the basics, like how to add a life raft to another ship, like how to add a ship within a ship, how to do that, and it kind of grew from there. So found it a while ago now, um, learned all the intricacies, or learned some of the intricacies, there's still more. I've never touched nuclear engines, I've never touched steam engines, but honestly I even don't think I will because I've specialized in the niche that I'm kind of popular with, with my ships and Oma and Alta and all that good stuff. Question six, it's by two users, actually both of which happen to be moderators on my Discord server, Maddie and Pingu. What software do you use for editing? What is your method and what software do you use to make your thumbnails for YouTube? So editing software is Premiere, Adobe Premiere, been using it for a long time. I have a photography company as well as doing engineering or photography videography. So we've been using Premiere for more than 10 years now. Second part is um, the thumbnails, Photoshop. We use Photoshop and the method is I get a photo of something interesting try to add an interesting caption, try not to be clickbaity or kind of misleading in any way. Obviously you have to hype up the people, you have to make the people want to watch the video. So there is a fine line to draw, but you have to intrigue them into wanting to watch your video and clicking it. So that's how I make my thumbnails, that's how I do my editing. Question seven, Snick Snack, which is actually kind of ironic because Snick Snack asks, what's your favorite food? Favorite food, man. I love brisket. I love Texas barbecue brisket. A close second is pizza. I love making pizza. I can't make my own good brisket, but I can make a great pizza from scratch, make the dough, roll the dough, put all the ingredients together. So those are my two probably favorite foods, not snacks. If you want to know what my favorite snack is, Snick Snack, um, it's probably going to be ice cream. Question eight. Mang Mangan Torn, what are your opinions on the upcoming DLC and average 21 enthusiast? Do you have any plans to make a space agency? Will that be Oma or Alta? So this was before the space DLC came out. That's just how long I didn't answer any of these questions. Um, my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming DLC. I did get a free, um, I got gifted by the developers the upcoming DLC. Uh, I definitely think it's super intriguing. There's a lot of aspects that it can add to the game. However, do I think it's right for Stormworks? I was never a huge space person growing up. Um, I definitely find intrigue in that, but I personally find more intrigue in the underwater world and exploring underwater things. So um, I definitely find an interest in space, but I don't necessarily want to migrate to space in Stormworks. It just thinks, I think it's a whole nother topic to get into. If I were to do it, it would probably Alta. I can't see Oma, who's a underwater and kind of oceanic outfit going into space, but Alta definitely could, especially for the mining and that type of thing. Question 10. Big question. Apple or Android? It's important, apparently. <laughs> Which Apple and Android devices? Tablet? and PC and Windows PC are welcome to talk about. Well, personally, Windows computers all the way for my computer. I like to build my own computers, I've built my own computer, and I just love the freedom and the customization. Windows 10 is probably what I've been using for so long now, I've just gotten so integrated into it, I can use it pretty much asleep. However, cell phone, I do prefer Apple, only for the reason of I'm not a big cell phone person. I don't really use my cell phone for like streaming movies and downloading things and whatnot, which I know Android's good at. I know Android has a benefit for that nature. Apple is pretty limited in a sense that it's designed by Apple who likes to just make very proprietary type software and type interfaces. So I don't like that necessarily, but for cell phones, which for me is more or less a device, I'm totally okay with. I use it for calling people and taking photos and texting and like that type of stuff. So not really huge cell phone person, but for PC, huge PC person, huge Windows person, and love to go into building all those things. Question 11. 
Programmer 137, what is your favorite buckle vehicle, both civilian and owned by other brands? This is a super tough question for me because I love all of my buckle vehicles that I've built, enough that I've built a whole showroom for them, but I gotta say, the buckle rodeo is just my classic attempt at a pickup truck from the basic, call it like, 90s fun model to the dually version to all of the themed versions, all of them, the lifted one, the Alta one, the police one, Oma one, everything, everything, including even the electric one, who I'm not a huge electric car fan in, in real life, but I do see their sort of use and especially their technology really intrigues me and I love even the electric version of the rodeo. So the buckle rodeo is just, in my opinion, it's the first one I always update, this, this blue guy here, is the first one that receives any updates and I just make sure that I keep it totally up to date and working right just because I find it so nice and useful in the game and just has kind of timeless looks. So didn't really answer the question in a sense of civilian versus company owned but that is kind of like my, the civilian consumer version of a truck. My favorite version of a um, commercial vehicle, so call the first ones over there consumer and then these here are commercial would be the convoy the buckle convoy is really cool because it comes in so many possible configurations including massive scale industrial um, uses i love this eight wheeled version the long haul version the regular version and i even have a single like double axle very small version that i've not released yet but even that one is really cool. So I just find such intrigue by these vehicles and they're such work workhorses. They're so powerful, super cool. Love how the cab kind of flips open and you could really get into the engine bay and whatnot. So love their use, love the varying size of engines in all these models because that's something where the rodeo really is just the same engine. The different sizes of this truck actually have different engines. So I find that really cool. Question 12 by user Mark, where do you shoot all your workshop screenshots? Well, I shoot them pretty much just anywhere on the map. Depending on the creation, I tend to kind of go where that creation would be expected. That said, I do have a hangar for all my Alta vehicles. So if this looks familiar to you, this is where I take the photos of Alta with the truck right there. And then for the other vehicles, such as the um, buckle vehicles, I actually use this little add-on that I've made. So over here, you can see the screenshots that I've taken for these two trucks on this kind of white screen. And then I use this dumbed down version of the dealership to take the cover photo right here. So that's kind of the behind the scenes of the, the vehicle photo shoots. And then for the OMA, I also just take the photo shoots at the marina. I spawn up the marina and load the vehicles there. Question 13. It's a two-part question or two questions by Agitated Alice. Both are engineering questions. What kind of softwares do, engin do software do engineers in your field use for calculations? Um, some scientific calculator is not what y'all use. Um, and then there's a second part, which I'll read after. So first question is, I use STAD for designing of buildings, it designs members, you can do finite element analysis, Google that if you don't know. Um, I do Tecla for modeling the entire building and then getting shop drawings or construction drawings from it, so Tecla STAD, but I've also used RSTAB, I've used RISA, I've used a bunch of other software, RAM, RAM structure, RAM connections, um, SAP 2000, to name a few, there's a lot of other software that I've used, but those are primarily the ones that I do. And then obviously Autodesk, AutoCAD, Revit, all that kind of stuff. Second question, do you ever watch uh, some AARO program video footage with your engineering goggles on? The thermal signature are interesting to someone who has space aerospace um, interest. So I've not seen this. I'll definitely have to check it out. Uh, that sounds quite interesting, to be honest. Um, I do like engineering, I love engineering in fact, obviously, but as far as aerospace and that type of stuff, that's far from my professional field. So professionally, I keep a good 
kind of look out on what is happening. And then from a personal standpoint, I have an interest in this type of stuff, but I also have an interest in coding, programming, building computers, yard work, building things with wood, building things by hand, working on cars, a wide variety. I can be busy 24 hours a day with no sleep and I will be honestly good to go. So I have a ton of hobbies, ton of things to do. I've not seen this, but I'll have to check it out. Question 14, Pingu. The real question is here, do you prefer manual or automatic? And then I saw a bunch of people starting to comment talking about one or the other or both. I have both. I've had both my whole life, meaning I've had more than two cars my whole life, which is pretty awesome. I did work for them. I worked summer jobs to, ha to be able to afford them. Actually, no, I had one car in high school and it was a manual. Then after I graduated, started working, then I got a second car. It was a man. It was automatic. I love both. I see the appeal for both, but I love to be able to switch back and forth, which is why I've always had two cars. I just love to drive manual sometimes. I love to drive automatic sometimes. So it is, in my opinion, both. For example, my sports car, manual hands down. I would not own an automatic sports car. But for my truck, I prefer it's automatic. It has really cushy seats, really comfy. You sit inside, you can go on road trips, you can drive 3,000 miles, and you won't be sitting in your seat bogged down and manual cars kind of suck in traffic jams especially if the track traffic jam is uphill so if i go to the mountains go for a drive if i want to that's where i love manual automatic has a time and place and that is for driving cushy in these big trucks or cars and just being comfortable and kind of going for the long distance or commuting even so love both have both question four uh, 15 Alexandra, what's your favorite mode of transportation in Stormworks? Great question, actually. If you look through my ships, most of my ships, especially my bigger ones, tend to have a theme. What is that theme? Well, it's sitting on the roof in this case. In other cases, it sits on the front. In other cases, it sits on the rear deck. So, my favorite mode of transportation is not by helicopter or airplane or by air it is the combination of having a ship as your home base your mothership you can sleep there you can work there you can live there and then having the ability to take off and solve missions and kind of do things in an airplane or helicopter and then make it back to your home base and then off to the next one so the combination of them is my favorite and i tend to try to put a helicopter or airplane of some form on all of my ships of course when they can fit them the one thing i've not really brushed on is by car and the problem with car in stormworks is a lot of the roads can cause damage to the cars very easily so i tend to avoid long-term travel by car but i still do enjoy cars in the game as I do in real life and I love to build them to supplement my ship fleet. So if I have a fleet that needs servicing, parts, whatever, that's kind of when the cars really step up there. Question 16. Are you planning on using XML modded parts and everybody downvoted? There's four downvotes here. I did make a video specifically talking about XML modded parts. I have used XML modded parts in some of my creations where there's just absolutely no workaround but as a whole I tend to avoid them for creative need reasons so I'll use them for practical reasons when there's no other choice when the game is just limiting in a sense that the um, hydrodynamics or fluid dynamics are not proper and the ship's sinking then I use the kind of leveling techniques and whatnot but for a visual sense, I tend to prefer the built-in ones. So still a good question, and I probably won't be using XML modded parts because even without them, I have so much on my plate. Question 17, who is your favorite workshop creator? And I love the fact that Pingu said me with the penguin. Truthfully, I cannot narrow it down to one. I'm sorry, I can't say who my favorite workshop builder is. I like my own creations, I use my own creations, but do I appreciate each and every one of these creations that hits the, hits the workshop? I absolutely do. 
Do I tend to look all the time on the workshop to see kind of what's going on out there? What people are releasing? I absolutely do. So without a doubt, all of the creations that I see are my favorite creations in a sense that I just think the creativity is absolutely mind boggling. Just seeing what people have put together, what they've built really makes me happy, including seeing my own creations, of course, but just seeing stuff that people have put together, the technology that they've used, the style they've used really does intrigue me. And I honestly think that everybody should be proud of their creations. And same thing like Lego. In Lego, you get people making mocks all the time. There's just tons of different effort and different levels of skills, of course, but in the end, you get amazing creations. And that's what it's all about in the end. Question 18. If you could work with any of your Stormworks brands, which would it be? Reaper says, for me, it would be Oma. For me too, Reaper, it would be Oma. I do work in the oil industry. I work in the heavy industrial industry, kind of like Alta, not on the field, not on site, but with that kind of world. But man, I would love to work with something like Oma, underwater exploration technology, trying to kind of solve problems and go un deep underwater, find things like that's super cool to me, just like a massive hobby of mine. And I'd love to be developing technology for something like Oma. That would be my dream engineering job if it were to exist. Great question. Also, I do love the fact that the, you have hot tubs and kind of modern elements on their ships. Of course, it's a little bit of a unrealistic element, but it kind of does tie into where I'd want to work. Question 19, Maddie, do you use artificial intelligence at work and how? This was asked in November of 23. So since then, I actually did start using a lot more chat GPT just for polishing up reports and kind of doing things like that. There's been times when I've updated our company's website and other types of LinkedIn parts, and I used AI just to check my writing or to kind of get ideas. So I do use that. I use it in Stormworks a lot for coding, a lot for coding. Um, professionally in my career, I did use it to find examples of codes for certain things like handrail codes when we had to design to a certain standard, you can ask it a direct question and it's going to search the internet and find a bunch of stuff. And while I then do verify it with the actual code, it does help narrow where to look. So that is kind of useful for sure. Question 20. I've been wanting to become a structural engineer for years now. Don't know how to become an engineer. Since you're an engineer, provide any tips where to start. I did make a whole video kind of answering this question actually a while back few months ago but really you have to want to be creative you want to be technical you have to be good at math um start in high school you don't have to know before high school but in high school if you kind of want to go that route you'll take calculus you'll take algebra if they offer it computer courses kind of prepare yourself and then apply to the universities and then of course once you're in a university for engineering it's a straight path to graduate you just got to do whatever you got to do to graduate won't be easy going to be a long long there's going to be long nights studying all night exams stress but in the end it is worth it if you want to go that route and i do recommend it for people that are technical and that enjoy that sort of thing question 21 alexandra how did you come up with the idea of making alta again i work in the oil industry and I came up with the idea because I just kind of looked at similar styles of industrial builds and techniques. Um, I didn't really intend for it to go into the oil industry because I started it before the oil update came. So I started it with sort of being a logistics train type of shipping company. Um, I made that high rail car and I then just stopped it, put it on the back burner, continued with OMA until the oil industry came out. And at that point I was like, this is awesome. I want to get into the oil industry. So I made that and then it kind of took off. And now I have these two huge brands. My fans are pretty much 50, 50 between them. And I love to see that. I don't want to see favorites. I like to see the split between the two and the intrigue. If you had one choice of a vacation, would you go to Alaska or somewhere in the U S and then user Gargofoil is saying that because he knows I'm in Canada and 
assumes that I'd go either north or south. Well, I could also fly. So I could fly to Europe, but since you've also said if I had one choice, would I go to Alaska or the US? I'd probably go to the US. It's warmer. If I'm going on vacation, I want to go somewhere there is no snow, for one. That said, I do want to see Alaska at some point. Uh, my favorite place to vacation in the US is probably Texas, Florida, and like Las Vegas, California area. Of course, there's this massive Midwest area right in the middle. I've driven through it multiple times, um, lived in New York, so I'm pretty much good there. I don't need to go to New York again for some time. Probably Florida or the Gulf area, just because of the warmth, because of the, style, the, the lifestyle, just so laid back, good barbecue, and pretty much a good time as long as it's not hurricane season. Question 23. What languages do you know or what languages do you want to know? Well, I do speak Serbo-Croatian. I'm fully fluent in it. I speak some French, just a residue of public education in Canada. Very poor French, but fully fluent in Serbo-Croatian. And otherwise, what languages do you want to know? Well, my parents graduated, or my parents retired to Spain, not graduated, retired to Spain. And I visited them in Spain many times. I would love to learn Spanish. Spanish is one of those languages that I find so cool, especially because there's a lot of people in America that speak Spanish, so that would help be helpful. It would be helpful going on vacation in Mexico, and of course it would be helpful going to Spain. So that's probably what I would like to learn. I also did a uni uh, university season abroad in Germany, in Berlin, but Berlin, like, like German is a hard language to learn. I do not think I could, I do not think I have the brain power capacity to learn German, as interesting as it is. Question 24, do you listen to music when building? If so, what is your favorite kind of music? Yes, I do sometimes. The sometimes being the difference if I'm making a video, I don't listen to music. And if I need to like hyper focus, I don't listen to music. Usually if I'm programming, I have to have all my brain cells functioning on one task. But if I'm just casually like building my hull, like that little fishing boat hull I made, I was blasting music, country music, or like some kind of electronic music. There's rock music, like that type of stuff. So can't say my favorite kind of music is any kind. It really goes what my mood is. And mostly my mood is country music, just because I find it super chill. Also, I've been looking for wedding music for my wedding planning. Question 25. Do you get any benefits from the Stormworks devs since you're a content creator? As I said earlier, I did get the free um, DLC for the space. And I would love to see my name in one of the islands or bases or something in a future update um but i don't do it for any type of benefits from them i do it because i love the game and kind of try to give them advice if and when i can and that is it for the questions so thank you all for watching stay tuned for more content more creations i got a lot of things planned and on the way including this little boat that i've showed you earlier um can't wait to see the fishing update to be honest that's going to be something very interesting Otherwise, stay tuned for more content, more creations, and as always, happy stormworksing, everyone.